Yo, 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 what is going on? Happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are back. We are live. Welcome, welcome, everybody, to the channel and stream today. Back here in Microsoft Life Simulator 2020. World Update 10 this week just dropped so we are rocking that as always it's hobby checking in again hope everybody's having a great weekend happy saturday hope everybody's weekend's going well mic check mic looks good audio should be good hopefully fingers crossed you guys let me know if not uh yeah we're back in the pndg 737 700 Boeing business jet, the BBJ. Still can't get enough of this bird. Excited to do some flying with you all today. And thank you all for tuning in and hanging out with me today. Appreciate all watching and happy to have you for today's uh, stream and happy to have you in the chat as well. Please say hello. Um, let's see, we are back where we left off Thursday. We are here in Omaha, Nebraska, K-O-M-A, it's the ICAO uh, airport, uh, and we are going up to uh, Buffalo, New York, Niagara Falls area-ish over there, um, so this will be a cool one today, I'm excited for this one, it's like kind of going all across the Midwest uh, for this leg, uh, finishing off this week's trips, uh, we're rocking one of the PMDG um liveries that came with the 737 the gray and white one uh i love this livery it's a pretty sweet one so that's what we're rocking today i think it's a venezuelan um uh, livery can't remember uh so yeah that is what we are got going today uh should be a pretty sweet route i think we'll go over chicago detroit uh, Lake Erie-ish, uh, Lake Michigan. So excited for this uh, route today. I think we are at, technically we're at Signature FBO on the ramp here in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, there is our music queue. Where's my music? Uh, so we'll, perfect timing, sweet. Um, let's see what else what else what else our I think we got two hour flight time hour 57 minutes yep two hours to Buffalo 24 passengers 2,000 pounds of cargo and luggage that is the plan for today um, I still need to connect to VATSIM we'll be on the VATSIM network today uh, let me do this real quick quick on my second monitor uh, just throw in our flight plan super quick uh, let's see we're going K O M A to K B U F um, let's see to our flight time we're gonna go up to 370 file the flight plan flight plan is good to go and I think we're ready to jump in the bird here and let's get it fired up, <clears throat> shall we? Uh, let's get out of drone mode. Let's go back inside. Let's uh, let's get some batteries going. Let there be some lights. Uh, we'll get our one of our fuel pumps on. Start the APU. Listen to her fire up.
cool. Perfect timing. APU is ready. Gen 1, Gen 2. Uh, let's get the bleed on. And let's go down here. We'll get our 122.8 for Unicom. Bat sim. Switch that over. What else? Spock 2000 is already set. Man, if I could figure out how to save. Maybe it's in the panel state. I want to be able to save 122.8. But I can't figure that out. I did it for the Squawk 2000, but I uh, can't figure out the active uh, radio. Still trying to figure that one out. Let's get you off. Let's go back up top here. Got the AP bleed going. Let's get packs on for some air. Hydraulic pumps one and two. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and a few. Caught our last stream on Thursday. We were saved. Let's go logo lights, wheel well lights on by our fellow viewer, Charles. Speaking of hydraulics, let's get our RS is aligned. So if you guys run into that at all, it was one of the uh, failures was randomly on. So I guess we'll go ahead and double check that here. Oops, aircraft failures. We got no failures on today, like I intended. Yeah, service base failures are off. I think it was just after the update, but it happens. All right, let's do about a one, two, oxygen, where you at? Love that sound. Sweet. Uh, let's get the, uh, <coughs> let's get the crew out here. Why don't we? FS actions, ground services. We'll call the fuel truck. Maintenance guy, out of water. We'll get the whole crew out here. Uh, let's see. Fuel today, we're going to need uh, 16,000 pounds. So, let's go. Oops, wrong button. Back to the menu. FS actions, fuel. Just gonna throw eleven thousand pounds in fuel and have him fill up the rest. So we need sixteen thousand is the target. So let's see. Yep, he's good to go. Hey, Charles, what's going on? And what is up? Happy Saturday, my friend. Good to see you. Thanks for joining and hopping in with us. Hope your Saturday weekend is going good. And thanks for hanging with us. I was actually just going over how you saved us in the last stream with our failures. And I actually just checked that and coast is clear on the failures so we're looking good so far <laughs> we should get out of here on time today <laughs> all right let's see he's ready to fuel let's go start on the fuel sweet all right and then yep yeah, our maintenance dudes here cool beans <coughs> let's go uh whoops wrong button oh no that's what i wanted uh, we are at Omaha K M A Airport. Copy our left GPS paste you, and we'll go route paste you, and we're going to Buffalo, New York K Buff today. Boom, uh, and then let's see, parting arriving. Let's see. 
We got um, winds are 160. We're going to go one for left. Um, we don't have any SIDS. It's a pretty simple route today, kind of straight to Buffalo. Um, that's our departure arrival. We're going to do ILS 32 via. <coughs> forgot what I picked for our arrival via Elma. We'll go via Elma and routes the next page and uh, where's our little sticky note here our route is here so we're direct T N U and then direct F N T and then direct Wazi W O Z E E. Boom. And we'll hit activate, execute. And then we'll go through. So I think there's some duplicates on here. Yes. So we'll go copy you. And up to the discon, execute. Is it frozen? Or is it just my tablet thing? What's... Well, I think it's just my tablet. Yeah. Alright. Let's check our route real quick. Hit our traffic button. FPV on. And... FO traffic. And let's do... Let's get you out of the way real quick. Plan mode. Zoom out a little bit. Let's see. We're direct. T and U. Straight to the east. Step our way all the way to. Is that the. What is that? Oh, that's the Wazi. <clears throat> Why would that be. I think we're gonna gonna remove that. And Omaha traffic. Uh, Execute. And we'll do at thirty five hundred instead of above. So I feel like this plane never the V nav if it's above our constraint, it will never get to it. It'll be way too high. <laughs> Don't know if that's Always the case. Cool. That's our approach. Looks good. Flight plan is short and sweet, but uh, it is a longer uh, flight than we usually do. Cool. Alright. Constraints are all good. Let's go to our cost index. We got. 60 cost index reserves we got 4.8 <clears throat> zero fuel weight we got 103.2 boom we're going to go up to 370 and we'll execute that in one limit uh we won't derate today take off we'll go flaps five Populate our CG 24-1. Get our V speeds. We know those trace. Sweet. Um, and let's set our trim while we're here. So about four and a half. Cool. That looks good, good, good. And let's go up top. We get our window heats and yaw damper on get the rest of our fuel pumps going boom cross feed check right dim sweet uh, we'll go back down here set our RTO 
Uh, fuel guy, how are we doing? Uh, he's all fueled up, so we'll reset the fuel flow and we can release him. So he's all good to go. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Cool. He's all good. Let's go back up to our MCP. And... We got speed out of here. It's going to be 133. Heading is going to be... What's 14 left? 14 left, 142. Swing this around. 142, no restrictions, no SID. So we're just going to go straight up to 37,000 feet. 370. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> oh, nice, Charles. You had some family in uh, Buffalo. Eat pig's feet. Nice. <laughs> cool. Sweet. I don't think I've ever been to uh, the Buffalo area. I don't believe I have. It would be cool to go, like, Niagara Falls, too, since, it, since it's that close. Uh, let's go up top and throw in our crews up here. 37,000. Boom. Landing altitude is going to be touchdown zone 713. So 700. Boom. That looks good. Cool. Let's get some uh, let's get some passengers in here. Omaha, uh, let's see. Left. Omaha. Uh, let's see. Uh, oops. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna, gonna call the passenger SUVs outside here. Uh, we get rid of the out of water guy. Sure he's all good. Sweet. Passengers are here. Rolling in. So let's go. How many passengers do we have? Twenty four. Put the passengers in there. Cargo was two thousand, so hundred or a thousand in the front, thousand in the back. They're connected, so we'll start loading. Boom! Start boarding. Sweet, 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 sweet. We should be done with the our little scratch pad. So close that. Uh, let's see. Sweet. All right. What else? We can. We'll let the maintenance guy take off. <coughs> As they're boarding. Yeah, so next week, uh, next week we'll have um, we'll have all new liveries. We're gonna fly next week. Um, some cool new uh, some new paint schemes uh, from uh, Flight Sim TO. Looking forward to rocking those next week. It's pretty cool ones. So 
Good stuff. We've been. I'm not sure we're going to run with an one for right speed. We've been patiently waiting for some BBJ deliveries. So good stuff. All right, how are we looking? Two more passengers. Bags and cargoes, all good. Yeah, the auto. Simbrief's auto. Um, cargo thing. It's like always at 2,000 pounds. I don't know why. It always gives me the same. Around about 2,000 pounds of cargo. But it's all good. Alright, so. Passenger SUVs can take off. We'll get the chocks removed. Set up our camera. Spool up some engines. And we'll get the doors closed. Air stairs in. Sweet. We are on our way here. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let's go back inside here. Let's get our legs page up on right side. And we'll go beacon on. Pack's got to go off for engine start. Uh, we'll set our right igniter, start number two. Let's get our takeoff page up here. Wait for 24 on the N2. Throw in some fuel. 23. And 24. Let's do our spool up. Got one good engine. We'll go start number one. Same deal. Wait for N2 on uh, number one. Two good ones. Let's go back up top. Let's go gins on one and two. APU can go off. Start switches continuous one and two. Pro beats up top coming on. Packs back on and ISO valve auto. APU bleed off. Flaps five. Set those. Boom. Ah, there's the slats coming out. Let's 
good sign. Charles, we got, uh, looks like we got hydraulics today. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, then we'll go engine button, system button. Uh, yoke, let's get you up. And let's see. Yay, look at those hydraulics. Beautiful. Left, right. Right rudder, left rudder. Sweet. <coughs> cool. Looks like they're using one for right, so we will go ahead and use one for left and get on out of here. TARA is on. Squawk 2000 looks good. And let's get our taxi chart up here. Stretch you out a little bit. Uh, looks like we got a pretty easy taxi. Cool. Let's do it. Yes. Let's go. Let's go stack up on the big feet. Why don't we? Ah, uh, let's go. Taxi lights on. And we are out of here. Parking brake off. Engines are spooling. We got two good engines. Sweet. And we'll call traffic. Omaha traffic, Airjet 5 to get Alpha. Taxi Bay, one floor left via Lima, uh, Zulu, uh, Omaha. Cool, Lima, Zulu, pretty easy. Sweet. Let's do it. Wow, we're only at 20 FPS. Yeah, as, as much as I want to switch between cameras for taxi, it, I cringe at the uh, thought of the crash to desktop. I did a quick flight yesterday and after I landed I was switching between cameras and what do you know? Crashy crash goes the sim. I don't know what it is anymore with uh, with switching between cameras it's just not not in my luck column anymore you learn the hard way maybe one switch of flight yeah I don't know what it is. I feel like it's only on the ground that it's ever crashed switching between uh, cameras. Only on the ground. And I think it only has happened with my custom cameras. The custom views that I've, I've done because these are like the pre they're like the what are they they're the drone uh, cameras oh yours happened in air yeah man it's a pain Yeah, but it seems like it doesn't happen with the, what is it? It's like the drone camera uh, default views. And I think it has something to do with my frames being low, too. Because I'm only getting 20, for whatever reason, I'm only getting 20 FPS. 
which is weird. There's no weather. This is a freeware scenery for Omaha, but I don't know. Uh, looks like we'll cross 18. Uh, Omaha traffic, air jet 5, Juliet Alpha crossing runway 18 uh, via Zulu. I'm off. So, yeah. It's probably a frame thing for whatever reason. When I'm on the ground, my frames are low now. I'm sure they'll address it. Let's go lights on. Um, hopefully in uh, Sim Update 10. <laughs> Fingers crossed, hopefully they do. And I think Sim Update 10, Asobo is going to fix the PMDG 737. Uh, PFD flickering on the screen because um, it's not a PMDG thing it's a, a Sobo uh, we'll just leave our lights on and we can probably roll out because he's coming in on uh, one four right and we are going to Get out of here on one four left. So uh, Omaha traffic, air jet five, jet alpha, lining up, taking off on wave four left uh, for a east departure. Uh, Omaha traffic. Lights are on. I do not set anything up. Flight directors. Auto throttle. V nav. Clock's coming on. LNAV's most likely not going to arm. Uh, let's get our data button on. And we'll go spool them up. Let's do it. Wheels are up. And 40%. Go Toga. Toyo. Yo. Let's do it. Check. I didn't think there was a crosswind. I can feel it. Let's go control. V1. Let's rotate. That was a little crosswind. Gears coming up. Tap on the brakes. Let's hit this left turn. Yeah, like I had was planned to... I planned to... Uh, Do some wing views for takeoff. Let's go flaps one. And forgot to hit our nav. There she comes back into the middle. Cool. Let's go flaps clean. Straighten her out here. Omaha traffic, air jet 5 to alpha 5.8, clear runway for left. Sweet. We're cruising. Okay. Let's hand fly it for a minute. Picking up some speed. 7,000 feet. Looking good. And we'll command A. We're at 8,000 now. 
Sweet. All right. Yeah, I hear you, Charles. Yep, too many add-ons for sure can affect the FPS. Yeah, I made a second um, add-on folder that's out of my uh, that's not inside my community folder that I just have on my hard drive, and I'll throw like pretty much all of my scenery and liveries in there until I want to use them. Then I'll just drag and drop. Cool. We're at 10,000. Let's go. Uh, we got start switches can come off. One, two. Gear. Off. RTO. You can go off. We'll go standard. And we're above 10,000. Go plenty lights, taxi, runways. All off. Looking good. Sweet. 11,000 feet and climbing. I'm going to stick with the uh, what are these? The forget the name of it. The showcase fixed cameras. Yeah. That's what it's called. The drone camera fixed cams. I actually had the my two instrument uh, panels up on my second screen. I was going to do some window views for takeoff, but I figured at 20 FPS, I better not take the chance. <laughs> but yeah, 100% agree with you, Charles. I've learned that the hard way. Uh, I used to have everything all compiled into my community folder and I think it wasn't until the PMDG came out that I completely emptied practically emptied everything out of my community folder except for a couple a couple liveries and two or three sceneries so now I just keep it all separate and seems to be working well so far all right let's see yep. got the lights off yep we're above 10,000 we're 16 ish thousand <coughs> and climbing we're gonna go up to 37,000 today oh I did forget to zoom out my map here Top of climb, what's that, 80 miles? Cool. So we're cruising, we got climbing at, wow, ground speed 400 knots, or 400. Uh, cool. Let's so go our prog page, yeah, we got 80 miles till top of climb, looking good. So we'll leave that in here. Our cruise. We want to set this to 0.80. Cruise. Execute that. Cool. Recalculates everything. Sweet. Uh, climb page. We'll leave it on climb. Cool. Cool beans. And yeah, we are in the flatlands of Nebraska. Let's see where we'll hit today over the Midwest. Looks like we'll go over Des Moines, Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, into Illinois, Rockford. Oh, Chicago will be off to our right as we go over Lake Michigan. Looks like we'll pass Grand Rapids, Lansing, Michigan, Flint, Michigan. Detroit will be off to our right. And looks like we'll be 
Lake Erie will be off to our right too. Probably have more so on our approach, yeah. And then right into Buffalo, Niagara Falls area. Sweet. Cool. Cool, cool beans. <coughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's. I don't know if maybe the la the last update or two of the sim has kind of affected my FPS, but yeah, I mean I've emptied my community folder almost entirely. But I'm uh, it, it, with the sim sim update ten which I think is a few months away, a couple months away, I want to say. They usually, usually those bigger updates, there's some performance um, upgrades, I guess you could say, but we'll see. No stutters though. I'll take no stutters and low frames if I have to. Nothing stuttering, so knock on wood, fingers crossed. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't jinx myself. All right, let's see. Well, progress bars looks good. ETA's working. Altitude is working. Speed, distance goes working. Let's see, we got 50 miles to the top of climb. Good stuff, good stuff. Sweet. Yeah, and if you guys enjoyed today's stream, please like and subscribe. I would certainly appreciate that. That's always, always a huge help to the channel. And I live stream here weekly and exclusively on Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday evenings. Uh, so if you do hit the notification bell, you'll be notified for all my future streams videos. Sweet, sweet. And we are on our way to 100 subscribers. That is our next milestone. Because it's the first milestone, actually, where we will. Looking forward to rolling out uh, uh, yoke throttle cam uh, for our streams. Uh, that way, you guys can kind of get a bird's eye view into the cockpit. Um, you know, me pushing, pushing buttons and what not and whatnot. So, got some. Some good streams and trips coming up as well on the channel. Always looking forward to sharing my flight sim, uh, Microsoft flight sim experience with you all. And always happy to have you guys join in me on the stream and chat. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Charles. I've been looking into Pack X too. Um, or do you mean Pack X or the passengers? Um, yeah, I was looking into the uh, the add-on uh, Pack X because I know they have a BBJ. Uh, somebody on Flight Sim TO has a uh, a BBJ configuration for Pack X. So I was like, oh, that would be cool to to throw in. Uh, to the stream, but it's like I feel like I have 10 programs running right now. <laughs> so I'm like trying to stay away from more add ons myself, but great add ons and great ideas. Um, so, you know, kudos to those developers because, like, the FS Realistic, you know, that looks like a sweet add on as well, but. I think they're still working out some some kinks I think with the FS realistic I know it just released so 
might pick it up at a later date. But yeah, I definitely I hear you on the on the add-ons. They can uh, put unneeded pressure on the CPU and GPU when you're already running so much stuff. Oh, nice! You do uh, live ATC and live traffic on. Nice. Yeah, that's the beauty of the of the sim in and of itself you know you can fly with or without any kind of add-ons whatever you know is your own personal preference to you know get the most out of your, your own flight sim uh, experience which is the best part it's not like you know one size fits all you can you can really make it your own and adjust and make it fit your your style so that's that's definitely the best part of of the sim itself but yeah i'm i'm, I'm definitely thinking about uh pack x because just when i saw they that somebody had uh released the bbj configuration after the 737 came out i was like oh definitely definitely can consider that <clears throat> I think it, I think Pack X even has uh, the landing rate uh, built into it because uh, I was I was using the freeware uh, the G's uh, landing rate on Flight MTO and then that just magically stopped working. <laughs> it just wouldn't wouldn't start up anymore i just got some error message tried to uninstall it delete it reinstall it multiple times and it just never worked again but that was sweet that that uh g's landing rate that works perfect well sometimes it didn't pop up on some landings but uh, the idea was great it was super super easy to use and uh worked great when it wanted to but uh yeah unfortunately it doesn't work anymore but i think uh pack x has a built-in landing rate which is, which is cool. um let's see let's go ahead and grab our tunes. and i don't think let's let's see I don't think we're going to have any ATC. Well, we don't have any yet. Uh, no ATC coverage. Maybe if Chicago Center uh, signs on or Cleveland Center might have some, uh, some coverage, but not, not yet. Let's run some, run some tunes. Are we at cruise yet? I think we are just about. Oh, we got somebody. under us. Nice. Just passed us. Sweet. Bum, 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 bum.
Yeah, now my frames are at 50. <laughs> Doubled my frames at cruise. I'm assuming it's just like that scenery, I'm assuming, for whatever reason, uh, was causing the sim to work too hard or something. But yeah, now I'm at 50 frames. Literally doubled. <clears throat> yeah, because up here, really, I guess all of the sim is loading is the photogrammetry and the, the weather. There's usually not much weather at cruise, so. Speaking of weather, let me double check, make sure we're on live. We should be. Yep, live time, live weather. Cool. Sweet. Cool, let's see, where are we at now? Just past Des Moines, Iowa. the sway oh she's good now slight turn all right we are cruising Yeah, it looks like this this livery didn't come with the that PPG sticker. Just uh just the PPG down here. I think it's just certain certain liveries have it, certain don't. No biggie. Alright, let's uh let's run through our scenery today. Let's see, we got, whoops, wrong button. We got, where is it? Omaha, Epley Field. This is where we took off from today, courtesy of UNM Lobo. Yeah, I want to say I have a few of his uh, sceneries. Uh, let's see. This is not loading. No pics. Pictures. Not cooperating. Come on. There we go. So he touched up the runways, night lighting, lots of cars in the parking lot. I think this was the FBO area, but there wasn't a signature flight on the hangar. No biggie. Attack air. Yep. Probably more just like some touch-ups, but uh, yep, freeware on Flight SimTO, where we took off from today, Omaha, and then K Buff. Oh, it just got updated last week. Cool. Courtesy of Prairie Let on flight sim TOs where we're flying into today. Buffalo, Niagara Falls area. It's like the terminal, terminal buildings. 
more terminal night lighting sweet tower taxiways up great tag air I wonder if that's where we would be parking today firehouse that's cool helipad I think there's a helipad back there yep sweet night lighting the terminal looks good Oh, and I think we already went through these. Yep. Cool. So, yeah. Uh, attack air. Let's see. K buff. FBO. Images. Yeah. So, I'm assuming that's where we'll, we'll be parking today. On the north side. Let's see. See if it's marked on the <coughs> it's not marked on here, but I'm assuming it's one of these over here. So we're landing runway three two, so we'll probably just get off on Quebec to hit the ramp, so sweet. Oh yeah, I was thinking for next week too. I was just trying to brainstorm some uh, some flights for next week. I was kind of going through the list of uh, the uh, simulator updates from World Update 10 since it was the U.S. Plenty of uh, updates and whatnot in the U.S. So areas to fly to. I was thinking uh, D.C., Washington, D.C., because they did all the monuments and uh, memorials and <coughs> all that good stuff in D.C. And also, um, I think, oh, yeah, I, I should share this with you guys. Um, I picked, I found this, I want to say, on Twitter a while ago. This flight sim map, uh, I forget who started it, but it um, yeah, it marks all of the each update um, each update like points of interest. So like whether it's points of interest or airports, um, so. I've found this like super helpful to keep up with um, all the updates and stuff. So, and they're color coordinated too. So I think everything in green um, is from World Update 10, and then the other colors um, are from past updates. So this is kind of what I'm going off of uh, for. Uh, for next week some points of interest and stuff uh, I know the K I think it's Lake Tahoe Airport KTV it's a KTVL yeah I know this one I checked out it was not as good as the freeware scenery on Flight Sim TO One second, guys. Oh, one second. Um. So yeah, I made a little list, like a, just a scratch piece of paper. I was looking at uh, all the, the new updates and whatnot, so probably go off of. Uh, World Update 10 for next week will be World Update 10 themed uh, for next week's flights. Um, probably start in DC because they literally did all of uh, Georgia Washington, Mount Vernon, 
Um, it's like a space center, space museum. Uh, but yeah, flying from Ronald Reagan, uh, KDCA. I'll probably start there next week. Work our way around. Like, look at all these, all these green. Those are updates uh, from this most recent one. World War II Memorial, like literally everything's on here. Thomas Jefferson Memorial, all these were added. Um, from the update this week, so. That's what we'll be rocking next week. And I know like for O'Hare, they only added a runway, so I don't know if we'll fly to O'Hare because it's on here in green. I don't think they did anything else to it. Oh, they did, um, they did do downtown Chicago. Um, so I think I, I think we played the update, like the Microsoft update video that showed the plane flying through all the different uh, newest updates. They did do all of the Chicago uh, downtown, like city buildings and all that good stuff. Um, so that's on there as well. I think they did downtown uh, Atlanta as well. Which the Atlanta's airport isn't like that close to downtown. But... Oh, nice, Charles! You're doing a uh, Europe tour. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, I know they did the Key Largo area down here in Florida. Haven't flown in Florida in a while. Maybe we'll do that. Fort Jefferson. Oh, that's from my older. Update. Yeah, that's my new update. Bum, 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 bum. New Orleans. What did they do in San Antonio? Historical Park. Cool. And I know they added some buildings to Dallas Fort Worth. And I think this, yeah, this this map uh, isn't 100% accurate because this should be color coordinated green since they updated it in Sim Update 10. Uh, but some cool stuff to fly to for sure. Uh, Mount Rushmore, I think that would be a cool one to, to fly to as well. Um, where is it? I think it's up here. Yeah. Although that was from a previous update, I want to say, but they did put it in the video for World Update 10, so I don't know if they added some more detail to it or what, but yeah, some cool U.S. Uh, cities and stuff to, to fly to. Uh, this little cool lighthouse up in uh, Minnesota. I know there's a Duluth, Minnesota freeware. That could be another possible place we could go, but yeah, we'll rock the uh, Sim Update 10 uh, theme next week, so that'll be cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see, where are we at now? Just past Cedar Rapids, Iowa. There's actually a funny movie with Ed Helms um, called Cedar Rapids. It's like one of those sleeper comedy movies. I think it's hilarious. It's about like this insurance insurance salesman guy Ed Helms and he goes to this conference and all kind of funny funny stuff happens at the conference 
goes on quite the adventure, but it's it's hilarious. John C. Riley's in it too. Uh, he's pretty funny in it. So, if you guys are looking for a comedy, uh, random comedy you probably never heard of, uh, Cedar Rapids. It's a pretty funny movie. What is this river here? Oh, it's the Mississippi River. Cool. Got the Mississippi River right here. Sweet. Oh yeah, Charles. I gotta. F I gotta try that uh, Switzerland uh, approach that you said was a. It's a tough one. I think it was stock. Was it? no, not Switzerland. Oh yeah, was it Stockholm? No, was it Stockholm or Switzerland? I forget. One of those two. Oh, it looks like Cleveland Center is on. So, looks like we'll have Cleveland Center for the approach, too. Cool. Looks like we still got probably another 100 miles or so until we get there. There's the Mississippi River. Right here. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Stockholm. I'll have to try that this weekend. Oh yeah, the uh, I think Flight Sim To had yes, they did. They had a the INI builds 310 update. I mean, I don't know how excited I am for this bird. Um, But I'm assuming they're going to bring more than just the A310 uh, to Microsoft Flight Sim. But yeah, this will be a freeware, I think they said around November. <coughs> yeah, for the 40th anniversary edition. It will be free. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, releasing November 2022. Uh, let's see. All the I builds. Do, 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 do. They've rewritten the code base for Microsoft Flight Sim version, enhancing the 310 systems. Greater levels of dynamic behavior and reliance. Bom, bom, bom. Generators, even individual fuel pumps, which, which will cause realistic electrical system demand changes. Cool. The FMS allows for more realistic operations on day-to-day -day flying, along with new features not previously seen on I and I build products. Cool. Future rich, future rich EFB. 
That's sweet. That's cool. Manage weight and balance. Cool. Yeah, I always love a good, uh, always love a good EFB. Cool. Screenshots look good. Sweet. I wonder what else is new. What is new? Oh no, I meant more of like news and such. Is there any other uh, <coughs> any other seven through seven BBJ liveries? I think I saw this one. That one didn't really get my attention. This one too. This one's cool. Yeah, I think I saved this one. Oh, this one was probably my favorite livery so far. This one will be definitely rocking next week. Uh, Charles, you might like this one. Kind of reminds me of the Boeing demonstrator a little bit. Blue and silver is sweet. It's even got the blue and silver on the flaps. Color coded. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this one's sweet. Love this livery. Sweet. Oh yeah, it's like even color coordinated on the bottoms, gray and blue of the flaps. <coughs> Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, this one's a new favorite. So sweet. Definitely digging this one. What was the, um, let's see, registration is, is that EI or EL? EI TVG. EI TVG. See the real world. Yeah, this one's. This livery is sweet. Full info. Let's see. Hans and Jets. Uh, the black and white one. Uh, it's for the the Doak seven thirty seven. Which one's which one's that? Is that uh, is that the other developers uh, seven thirty seven that came out in Microsoft? before the PFDG. Yeah, that's sweet. Oh, there's another LY TVG. This one's, that one's registered in France. What was the, 
Where was this one? Ah, this is Spain. Okay. Or no, that's a photo location. Not registered. Yeah, this one's definitely... Definitely a new favorite. Courtesy of... F.S. Cabral. And it's a PTP file. Yeah. This one's sweet. We'll definitely be rocking this one next week. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for the other developers. Uh, 737, yeah. I think I picked up this one too. This blue one's pretty cool too. Yeah, we'll probably rock this one next week too. I think there was one pretty similar to this for the fly-by-wire that we flew before. It's cool blue. Blue, white, and gray. But yeah, this one's definitely... Definitely a new favorite. Blue and gray is sweet. Coming up on Chi Town pretty quick. Ah, yes, that's that would be Lake Michigan. So, yes, we've been in Illinois, it looks like. Yep, Chicago's gonna be off to our right. Let's see, this looks like O'Hare. Yep, there's O'Hare, downtown Chicago, here. Midway's way down here. Milwaukee, executive airport's right here. Yeah, that's O'Hare, cool. Cool. Yeah, I didn't realize we were coming up in Chicago so fast. Kind of by North Chicago, Kenosha. Cool beans. Oh, I was gonna, let's uh, throw in our other frequency, Cleveland Center, it's gonna be 128, 128, 128, Six two five. One twenty eight six oops, two five. So we'll have that ready to roll. I'm sure he'll give us a squawk and all that good stuff. We'll wave to Chicago as we fly by. My hometown. Sweet. <coughs> I am out of water. I'm gonna grab some water. I'm gonna grab some water real quick, guys. I will be 
right back. BRB. All right, we're back. Got a fresh cup of agua. Brownies, hey, 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 hey. How you doing? What is going on? Happy Saturday. Thanks for hopping in. Good to see you as always. Hope your weekend is good. Everything's good on your end. Um... Oh, Charles, I forgot to ask. I was going to ask where you were, uh, where you were going on, uh, you said you were doing a Europe tour. <clears throat> I guess, where are you at on your, uh, Europe tour? I guess, where are you flying from and to? Yes, happy Saturday indeed, brownies. <coughs> Absolutely. Actually cooled off here in Chicago today. I think the high was 70 degrees. Yeah, after being 95 and 100 for a few days. So, got a nice little break from the heat. Oh, nice. Stockholm to Copenhagen. That's your next leg. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Yep, Brownies, we are... That's Lake Michigan, actually. Um, let's see. Uh, right under our wing here is... Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. It's probably hard to see. This is Chicago here. Right under our wing here, before it disappears, is O'Hare, Chicago O'Hare, and then uh, downtown Chicago's here. Where is Midway? It's hard to see. Oh, Midway's right here. You can kind of barely see it. Yeah, O'Hare's disappearing under our wing. Uh, but yeah, that's Chicago. Let's see. Yeah, we're literally in the middle of Lake Michigan right now. Chicago's kind of way down here off to our right, as you can see. 
that's off to our right here. And yeah, going over Lake Michigan, then we'll be into Michigan itself. Then we'll be going over Flint, Michigan, and making our way <coughs> over to Buffalo. Niagara Falls, New York area. Uh, we're going to Buffalo, uh, Buffalo's uh, airport, which I think the scenery uh, that we're flying into for Buffalo was just updated last week. So that is the plan. Whoa, we're way too soon in here. Yes, yes, yes. So middle of Lake Michigan. That is where we are at. And let's see. Fantastic. How are we looking? Zoom out. And we're going to have Cleveland Center. Looks like we'll probably hit them in probably less than uh, probably 80 miles or so. And we'll have Cleveland Center uh, probably all the way to our through our approach. Um, so yeah. Yeah, brownies. We got some nice, nice weather here in the Midwest, finally. Just got back from the pool. Sweet. There you go. Great day for a pool day. Indeed. Good stuff. that out of the way <clears throat> How far is the uh Charles, how far is the that leg, uh, Stockholm to Copenhagen? I guess before we do hit Cleveland Center, uh, let's make sure we look good on our approach and all that. Make sure I got all of our fixes in here. Let's see. Uh, 
Oh, uh, no worries, Charles. No worries. I think the only... Let's see. I'm gonna change that. Went F and T. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna change that to Elma. L, M, two M's. I'll adjust that. Bum bum, bum 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 bum. Yeah, so we're literally direct to our <coughs> approach this point. Two forty to our TOD. Yeah, so we still have quite a ways. So we'll check in with the Cleveland Center here in a minute. We have crossed Lake Michigan completely on our way to Flint, Michigan. Yeah, and it looks like we'll probably Looks like we're going to fly in and out of Cleveland Center, technically. But he'll probably just keep us in Cleveland Center or on the same frequency. Welcome back, Charles. Um, how far is uh, the Stockholm to Copenhagen leg? Just curious how far that is. Oh, what airport's that? Is that Grand Rapids? Uh, looks like it. Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's their airport. Coop. I have not flown into Grand Rapids. I think it's KGRR. Cleveland Center's on, Boston Center's on. Cool. Oh, nice. Hour and 10. Not bad. 520 miles. Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't done much flying in Europe. I really should. I know Vatsim is very busy in Europe uh, 
so I still have some more <laughs> practicing to do probably before I start flying in Europe. But I could uh, could definitely fly offline, see some stuff, try some new approaches and whatnot. Oh, nice! Stockholm had some uh, some points of interest. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I do give Microsoft. It's the the visuals. They are crushing the the visuals in the. Uh, simulator world slowly but surely updating all all the points of interest around the world is pretty sweet and and airports too oh there's Cleveland Center oh nice the the Stockholm is uh, handcrafted for, uh, for Copenhagen. All right, let's see. We need to contact him. I think it was still 120... 128.625. Yep. Or no. Looks like it changed on us. 128, 6, 2, 5. 128, 6, 2, 5, yep. Cool. Alright, let's see. Hold on, let me... Oh, Stockholm is handcrafted? Sweet. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Maybe I'll try some touch and goes there. With the, uh... Test out the approach. See what I can do. Uh, let's see. Cleveland Center, good afternoon, Airjet 5 to Alpha, flight level 370. This is 5 Jet Alpha, 5 to Alpha, Cleveland Center, good evening, SWAC 5731. SWAC 5731, 5 to Alpha. Cool, let's throw that in the box. Five, seven, three, one, and we'll hit the ident for him. Cool. Affiliate Alpha radar contact about forty-four miles to the north of the Richfield VOR. All right. Cool. Roger. Thank you. I do it up. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we got Cleveland Center. Four forty-one. Turn right, heading two or three two zero. Seems like uh. V pilot's a little too loud today. It's so hard to keep the that's some radio levels. Like everybody's mic is different, so all good, all good. Cool. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Yeah, I wonder if I wonder if that uh, for whatever reason that Omaha scenery was causing the lower frames. I don't know. Try not to look at the POIs. Yeah. Yep. I hear that. 
don't want to spoil the surprise, absolutely. Yep, feels like a vacation. Yep, I, I hear that for sure. Yeah, and you guys let me know if uh, the Batsim radio, uh, the other folks on the Batsim radios, it's too, gets too loud. <clears throat> it's kind of tricky keeping it to one level, uh, just because everybody's microphone has a got a different volume level. Just kind of gotta adjust as you go. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we still got uh, 160 miles <coughs> until the top of drop, so we are looking good. We should have everything set up. Oh, let me double check. Make sure the winds haven't shifted on us. No, winds are still the same. 330 at 16, so definitely windy in Buffalo. So, I have to keep that in mind. I tend to disregard the wind sometimes. Sim and then use Google Earth to take a virtual tour. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Nice. Yeah, it's a good. Uh, it's a good way to definitely treat it like a vacation. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, like with the new this uh, new world update for the U.S. I've just been like loading into certain airports like uh, DCA uh, Ronald Reagan International in DC and then I'll just take the the drone cam over to uh, like all those new points of interest since they've made so many in DC just fly the drone see exactly what they uh, what they updated ba -ba 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 -ba. And I think I've only been to, I think I've only done like one, one flight uh, around Mount Rushmore. That was like, feels like forever ago. Uh, so that's another place I need to spawn into and take the drone cam up to uh, Mount Rushmore and see, see what details and whatnot they added. Yeah, one thirty to top of drop. What we can do? Yeah, since the winds are three thirty, he should let us do 
three, two. And we're the, are we the only bird? Oh, we got two arrivals, but. Yeah. We should be fine. Yeah, he should still let us have, get uh, ILS 3-2. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's so weird why the route would take us to Wazi and then the this arrival. It's so weird. It's a hold pattern in their approach. Never done that. Didn't know those existed. Is that the start of Lake Erie over here? Not sure what this is. That's Lake St. Clair, this first one, and then Lake Erie's on the back side of that. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's get everything prepped here. Got about 117 miles till top of drop, so let's go. <coughs> um, we'll do. We'll set flaps 40 for landing. Yeah, it looks like we're going to go out of Cleveland airspace, but hopefully he just keeps us on this frequency. Because um, we'll be coming back into it for the approach. Um, let's see. Let's set our ILSs. So we got 109.95. 109.95. Oops, 95. Boom. Those are in. Final course, 318. 318, 318, 318, those are good. Let's set our minimums, are gonna be for the ILS 913. Scoot you over so we can see it on the bottom here. 913. That's what it was. November 5, Juliet Alpha, turn right heading 110. I'm getting you back there to the way from the bottom. Alright. Uh, right turn 110, 5 one one zero. Let's go heading mode. That works, yeah. That way we don't have to go to Toronto airspace and then come back to Cleveland airspace. Sweet. Um, let's see. We were almost there. Nine thirteen. Nine thirteen. Minimums set. And then we'll go down here, we'll set our fixes. We're going runway three, two. We'll go 10 miles out. And 
five miles out. Good means. <coughs> bow, bow. Assuming he'll tell us when to send. No. Delta Kilo Kilo. Uh, yeah, we can plug it in. Uh, do you want us to replace the Elma waypoint uh, with the Delta Kilo Kilo? Five to it out. Yeah, if you can, that's that's right outside of the airspace. Got it. Okay. Uh, Roger. We'll go ahead and throw in Delta Kilo Kilo. Uh, place of Alpha for five to it up. Uh, let's see. So. Uh, direct Dunkirk for uh, 5 to Alpha, thanks. Delta Kilo Kilo. And we'll execute that. And we need to hit our LNAF. Looks like somebody's close to us, off to our left somewhere. Thought I saw somebody on the. Yeah. Can't find him. Alright, uh, so we're clear to. Uh, let's replace this. How do I change? Let's do this Delta Kilo Kilo search. Dunkirk add to route. Insert four. Wazi. And we will delete Wazi. Cool. 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 Okay, here's Dunkirk. Yeah, that works way better for our approach anyways. Sweet. Cool beans. Cool, cool beans. Cool, I think we still have a Discon in here. Yeah, let's just we'll throw that in there like that. I'm sure he might give us some vectors. Oh, let's make sure our constraints are good. Yep, Alma. Alma 3500. The Pew at 23. And we should be good from there. Ooh. Sweet. Oh, no. Why did I do that? Leave that up. Lock our bird somebody passing us nice I don't know why I can't see him can't see the traffic They're out there somewhere ah there he is he's way out there thought he was closer yeah he's way out here Cool, cool. Okay. Yo.
Alright, let's see. Oh, I was like, where's the, where's the jams? Just have to watch our TOD and let them know. Get close. <coughs> Got 43 miles. It calculated to our TOD. Is that an airport way out there? Oh, we might see... Bow, bow. I think Toronto's over here somewhere. Is this Lake Erie? Yeah, this is Lake Erie. That's what I thought. Set this. Need to reset this camera. It's too low and too far back. It's somewhat better, I guess. Twenty miles to TOD, so I think I'm gonna let them know here soon. He's not even in uh, the airspace, so he's all good. <coughs> all right, I'm gonna let him know. Let's see, Clifton Center, Airjet Five, Jet Alpha, about ten 
miles from our top of drop. Take it back to Alpha. Down to one zero ten thousand five zero. All right. So let's set our bottom altitude ten thousand for now. Hopefully, VNAV will get us there for the most part. Um, let's do. Cool. Okay, got four miles. Top of drop. Four mi three miles. Coop. Uh, I forget he gave us the altimeter trees or zero four. Side. Going right over Lake Erie. Replay, where you at? There you are. Always hiding. Nose down, 4,400 feet a minute. Oh, yeah. She is in a hurry. Wow. Oh, this livery is Norwegian, the gray and white one. VP, Victor Papa, Charlie, Zulu, Whiskey. Nice. <clears throat> okay, we got 30 miles to, what was it, Dunkirk? Yes, 30 miles to Dunkirk. What's our... Okay, so 76 till touchdown. 76 miles till the runway. <coughs> so yeah, we need to get her down here. Let's see. 
Yeah, I gotta find Charles. I gotta find a. I gotta find the right way to look up these liveries, because I I like to look them up, but sometimes I like can't find the exact uh, country that they're registered in for whatever reason. <clears throat> Or maybe one specific website that has kind of like all the directories. Oh, wow. Prime Minister of Norway applies to BBJ. Nice. Very cool. Interesting. So we got replay is booted up. Let's go auto break. Uh, we'll go auto break three today. Why not? Uh, we won't arm the... Well, we can arm the spoilers. Whoops. There we go. Make sure they're not out. There's a little uh, crosswind. You can tell the tail is crooked. Cool. Spoilers are armed. Engine switches can go tenuous. And we're still trying to make it to 10,000 feet. We're going to throw on the speed brakes. Set our thank you airplane 3004. I like how it does that. It'll give you, if you pre select your altimeter and don't hit the standard button, it'll highlight standard in orange, letting you know you need to uh, hit your standard button so you can arm the uh, altimeter. Yeah, he did not call us back, so... Cleveland Center Air Jet 5, Jude Alpha, we just passed the Dunkirk. Uh, can we get vectors to uh, final, please? Down to 6,000 for 5, Jude Alpha, thanks. Down to six thousand. Throw that in the NCP. Yeah, I never know if I'm supposed to make that turn. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Oh yeah, Tra the yeah, he's he's traveling in style. That's for sure. Got his own, got his own BBJ. That is top notch. All right, let's go. We're at ten thousand. Let's uh, pause the tunes for a minute. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I love the sun reflection on the water. So sweet. Sun's still pretty high, so no sunset for today. I thought we might get a sunset landing, but we did not. Alright, saying drag required. So let's throw out the speed brake. Let's go lights on. Twenty 
24 miles to our first approach fix. And cool. Looking good. Leave the speed brakes out for now. Looks like our airport is over here somewhere. Somewhere over here. Cool. Down to 6,000. We're at 8,600 so far. Let's dial in our approach heading, why don't we? Assuming it's going to clear us to the... Actually, no, we'll keep it present heading. 068. Controllers are changing. Cool. I wonder if they're going to switch. I thought that's what he said switch controllers. Well, I guess we'll see. Oh, nice. Your wife enjoys the, the scenery in the sim. Very cool. Yeah, that. I mean, I wish I could... I have most, pretty much all my settings on medium. I wish I could do, like, ultra, but I'm just too scared uh, frying my computer. But, I mean, hey, even the medium settings make the, make the sim look great. I can only imagine what ultra looks like maybe I'll try it one of these days maybe a shorter flight <laughs> not not too long of a flight all right we're at 6,000 12 miles till final yeah I mean that's one thing Microsoft has got got down pat is the, the visuals and the scenery and the sim. Definitely. Beautiful scenery. Yeah, sometimes it's like hard to tell the difference <laughs> between real life and uh the simulator like these window views like it's crazy it's like blur blurring the lines between sim and real life is he gonna forget about us Uh, let's see, yeah. Uh, Cleveland Center Air Jet, uh, 5 2 at Alpha level at 6,000. Are we clear for, uh, 3 2 approach? Uh, 5-2 Alpha, yeah, if you have it, so you Roger, thank you. Cleared, uh, 3-2 approach, uh, 5-2 Alpha. Yeah, 5-2 Alpha, thanks for taking that. We have a now. Ah, there's an event. No worries, appreciate the, uh, coverage. Um, let's see, are we gonna get down? Probably not. We'll try. We've got three miles. It's gonna be... Could get quick and spicy here. Let's go flaps one. 
Oh man, we're picking up speed. Actually, let's pick up uh, switch laps five. Supposed to be at 3,500 feet, and we're at 5,000. So, let's see what we can do here. Our next fix is 2,300. <coughs> we're looking all right. Uh, Charles, you have yours on high, except for Ultra on buildings and trees. Nice. Yeah, actually. Nah, I think about it. I have my my buildings on uh, Ultra. That's the only thing I have on Ultra. <laughs> Cool. Let's go gear down. And flaps 15. Yeah, we're coming in hot. Flaps 15 is good. Let's do 126 on the speed. Let's go flaps 25, and about five miles out. Yeah, he's got his hands full now. I wonder if I should even call him for clear to land. Uh, we'll call him if we can. Yeah, he's got his hands full. I hate to bug him, but. <coughs> Let's go record on. Uh, Cleveland Center, Jeff 5 Jewett Alpha, 5 mile final, we're way 3 2 at Buffalo. Three two clear to land five Jewett Alpha, thanks. Alright, looking good. Replay is going. Uh, we got flaps full. Looks like glide slow. Autopilot's got us. Uh, let's go ahead and one thousand. We'll pull the throttles back now to match our In one, uh, let's go, my bird. Probably gonna need less trim. Usually, trim's too high. And let's go, my throttles. Looking a little high. Uh, winds are at our nose, so now it's saying we're too low. I think we look is fine. Yeah, we look good. Eh, a little high. I think we're good right here. Alright, 126 on the speed. We're looking good. Glide slow. Glide slow. Glide slow. Ah, uh, we're slow. fine. Glide slow. Might Glide clip slow. a tree or two. We're, Glide we're good. Glide slow. Glide slow. Glide slow. Light slope. Minimums. Minimums. Continue. One. 
100. Well, there's the firehouse off to the right. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Spoilers out. I think we bounced. Move the nose down. Let's hit the brakes. 50 knots. We're good. And the FBO's to our right, so we're just going to jam off to the right here. Hit the clock. Welcome to Buffalo. Buffalo, NY. All right. Let's see. We're on, I think it was Quebec. We'll hold right here and let them know. And Cleveland Center, jet 5 drop, a clear runway 32. We're on Quebec and we're just taxiing straight into the FBO. Is it Thanks so much for the coverage. Have a good one. Take care. Five jet off. Cool. We'll just uh, mosey our way right in here. Yeah, the uh, the scenery looked pretty good. Yeah, I agree, Charles. It's pretty nice. Thanks, Brownies. Appreciate you guys. Prime time landing. I'll take it. All right, let's see. I think straight ahead that brown building is TAC Air, I want to say. Executive terminal. There we go. Uh, let's go. We'll take a left here. Oh, I forgot the landing light strokes can go off. Auto throttle button. RTO, you can Got go the, off. Sweet. Let's see. Oh, I did not put the flaps up either. All right, let's see. Any parking spots? Ah, we'll park over here by the uh, by the hangar. Taxi lights go off. We'll just pull. Swing this bad boy around. Cool. That uh, looks good. And we'll throw on the parking brake. We'll stop the recording and we'll disconnect from that sim so we don't mess anybody up on the network. All right, let's do some replay, shall we? Yeah, I don't even think my my spoilers were armed, but they I don't think they came out. <laughs> All good. So I think sometimes there's a when I arm them on my Bravo Dorado Quadrant. I don't know if they work. I should probably just arm them like this. Yeah. All good. Alright. Recording is stopped. We will leave the bird running. Everything's still set how it should be after landing and then we'll come back and we'll shut her down we will sign off so without further ado let's do some replays oh let me grab the grab some jams load this back up cool and I might need this for later Cool, let's do it. Record or replay. Hit it. And where's the J? 
jams. Shall we land this bad boy? Uh, let's see. <coughs> yeah, decent landing. I think we bounced. It was nice. The winds were right, right at the nose, so no crosswind or anything. Yeah, I wonder if it'll show the spoilers. It's typically in the replay, it'll show the spoilers uh, popping out. Actually, I kind of want to do this view instead. Yeah, we'll see if this spoilers did definitely think we bounced though because I felt like when we touched down I put the spoilers out or the reversers out and it there was a delay because I think we were still in the air from the first bounce <laughs> I'll do the gear cam view after after this one see what we see what we did and we're coming in yeah buildings on ultra is like I think a must have if you're gonna have anything on ultra I think buildings definitely looks like they have a blast fence over there that was probably added in from the developer terminals on our side here yeah yeah the spoilers the or the reversers went in and out <coughs> looks like we had the slightest bounce yeah that's the terminal off to our left left wing terminals over there looks good towers right here Looks like probably cargo over there. Yeah, those are cargo buildings. Hangers. Alright. Let's see what uh, what we did here. Or how we did. Zoom. Make sure the spoilers are down. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, this was the uh, this little red building was the uh, firehouse that the uh, developer recreated. It's cool. It's got all the doors open, the trucks out. Right, right to our right here. Sweet. Ah, uh, looks like we hit a hump again. The whole runway is inclined. Man, that was like the slightest bounce. I think that's my signature. On the landing, is this just like a ever so slightest uh, bounce. <laughs> Sweet. Let's go, um, let's do the uh, flyover from the uh, end of the runway. Spoilers down. Oh, spoilers. I don't want to go down. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to click out of this. 
reset you. And... Oh, wait. Let's do this. And let's set our camera up. Whoops. Set our camera up way back here. Uh, scooter back, I think. Yeah, this whole runway was going uphill again. And it's like the battle of the uphill runways. They're hard to butter. Let's zoom in here. Cool. Hey, thanks, Charles. Appreciate you. Thanks, man. Yeah, until next time. Uh, yeah, next week we'll, we'll be we'll be rocking some more of the uh, uh, world world update ten uh, airports, sceneries, points of interest. That'll be the theme for next week. So hopefully, hope to see you next week. Uh, we'll have a regular schedule next week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend, Charles. Oh, we had just a smidge of a crosswind. <clears throat> yeah, look at that runway. It's a whole, it's an entire hill. Maybe the spoilers did come out. Nice. I think it zoomed all the way in, yeah. I wonder if the developer uh, developed or redeveloped the inside of the uh, tower. I don't think so. I'll give it a shot. Nope. That's all good. Let's go up top. Looks like we're standing on the top of the tower. Yeah, the scenery looked great coming in. I agree with Charles. I uh, mentioned that earlier. Coming in over the lake, too. That was sweet. Speaking of, speaking of Lake Erie, I think the freeware of Lake Erie on Flight Centio K-E-R-I uh, was just updated uh, recently too. That's a cool little airport. Literally right on the south. Like in the middle of the south end of uh, uh, Lake Erie. Nice. Man, these graphics look amazing. It's crazy. I think there's a stutter with the front wheel. <laughs> it's like an, there's a bug. It's probably a replay bug. <laughs> it's like shadows of the or duplicates of the front uh, wheel. Uh, let's do let's do a follow cam, and then we will uh, get out of here. We'll sign off. Let's reset you and rewind. Play. down. There we go. 
That's pretty sweet. Yeah, terminal looks great on this scenery too. Let's go back in the bird here and we can get some stuff set up while replay keeps going. Get our pedo heats off up top, start switches, go off one and two. Uh, let's start the old APU. Sweet. Auto brake, I think we already turned that off. Yep. Uh, let's see, we'll wait for the APU to kick on. Oh, is it not going to? Is it going to give me the fault? Oh no, there she goes. She's firing up. Get you off. <coughs> cool. Good there. All good there. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, let's put the spoilers down. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, great scenery. Love it. Got the TAC Air Executive Terminal. FBO over here. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's hop back up front. AP gins are good, so we'll go one, two. And AP bleed, come back on. And we'll let replay get us parked here. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. Cool. All right, let's do our shutdown, shall we? Let's go engine one and two. There we go. Beacon off. Sweet. All right, beacons are off. Let's set our chocks. FS action, ground. Chocks are set. Let's go back up top. We can take off those three fuel pumps. Window heats and yaw damper can come off. Hydraulic pumps, one, two. Iso valve go open let's get some AC flowing and let's get our VIPs 
their trucks. Uh, we'll go second air stairs as well. And where's our maintenance buddy? And we'll get the lav guy too as well. Why not? Crew should be pulling up. Cool, cool beans. Oh, forgot the door. Might need the doors open. Air stairs, door. There she comes. Cool. Stairs are out. Cool, we got the crew here. We are looking good. Let's go back to our FX actions, ground services, passengers. Send them on their way. Go deep plane. And let's get their bags and luggage off. Zero, zero, start. Sweet. Oh, yeah, the brakes are hot from replay. FS actions, ground service, maintenance services. Pull the brakes, my friend. Thank you, sir. <coughs> And cool. Sweet. Boy, the, they sure do deplane faster than they board the passengers. Cool, cool beans. Sweet. All right, they are passengers are good. Got a hundred pounds of cargo left, and that should do it. Yeah, I love the ground clutter too. They got the jet fuel trucks in the background. Got some birds on the ramp, some vans, more trucks. Good stuff. Love the scenery. All right, cool. Um, cool. Yeah, they're all off. We'll send our packs on their way. And that'll do it. That was that was a sweet route. Love that route. Kind of got to see all of the Midwest today. That was uh, definitely a, a new favorite for me. Omaha, Nebraska to uh, Buffalo, New York. Cool, cool, cool. So, yes, thank you everyone for joining today. Whether you're watching live or watching at a later date. Appreciate each and every one of you uh, for flying with us. Uh, we'll be back uh, next week, normal schedule. Uh, we'll be streaming Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evening. Um, so that those uh, streams will be scheduled. I'll probably get all three of them posted either tomorrow or by Monday um, for this week coming up. So you'll be able to see all the streams pre-scheduled on the channel. Uh, so we hope to see you there next week. And as always, if you guys enjoyed today's stream video, please like and subscribe. I would certainly appreciate that as a huge help to the channel. Um, yeah, and I live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. So if you do hit the notification bell, you'll be notified uh, for all of our future streams and videos. And also, I've listed uh, some of my favorite playlists of our, our past streams. If you guys want to check those out in the description video description below and i'm always open to new routes um, so if you guys have any favorite routes or destinations please let me know in the uh, comments below brownies charles thank you both uh for watching and joining in chat good to hear from you good to see you both as always hope everybody has a awesome weekend great rest of your weekend happy saturday happy early sunday everybody and yeah again thank you all for watching really appreciate you guys flying with me and we will catch you in the next stream on tuesday later guys peace